Hey guys, uh, hope you guys are all having a good week. And uh, see if I can't get this PowerPoint to go. Okay, this is my lesson. It is about Memphis and its necropolis. And um, uh, Memphis is important to my Luwaldi source, which is the Eternal Treaty. And I'll explain how that is later. Okay, so just a, a history of Memphis. Mm -hmm. uh, it was built between um, 3100 to 2686 BC. And this period of time is known as the Archaic Period. And actually the building, the beginning of the building of Memphis is uh, what marks the beginning of the Archaic Period. Um, it was started uh, by the Egyptian pharaoh Narmer. Um, it was his residence in uh, upper kingdom of Egypt and that's important because Narmer uh, was the first pharaoh to um, to rule both the upper and the lower kingdom and that was the upper and the lower kingdom they're kind of split in half this was the lower uh, these this was the upper and uh, he was the first one to rule basically all of it. And uh, he made his capital to be Memphis. Um, during this time, Memphis became a center, uh, kind of a hub of Egypt. Um, uh, you know, all the intellectuals, scientists, um, uh, you know, a lot of the religious temples were put there. Um, it was just really kind of the center of Egypt, and there was a lot going on. Um, after the Archaic period came the Old Kingdom, which is known for its disorder. Um, the pharaohs after Namer uh, were pretty good, but they weren't as good as him. And they did a lot of things that upset um, the people, kind of the social structure, kind of degraded so nobody really knew you know where they fit and it was it was it fell into anarchy kind of um there was no real order there and at memphis was still the capital but it became um no longer the hub for art and religion you know that that kind of stuff became much more localized to villages and other cities so it wasn't memphis wasn't the central for that anymore and as you can see, a structure built th during this time was the Step Pyramid of Sakraka. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. And it was um, built by King de Djoser. And uh, it was built to be his tomb. And, you know, that's one of the, one of the first pyramids that was built. Um, Memphis is very... Uh, Famous because many kings were buried there. Um, there are also many structures uh, still partially standing in Memphis. And uh, you can see in this example, the uh, Temple of Isis. And uh, I, I feel like I didn't explain this enough. Um, another big reason for Memphis's disorder was um, a cult kind of came in and made things worse it was it was the cult of the sun god uh helopolis and um they kind of the kings you know took it as the religion but uh it, it was seen as uh, too intellectual and kind of too remote for you know the simple villager people so they they kind of rejected that and that's another big reason yeah, uh, there was a lot of disorder in that time. Um, but anyway, and this brings me to why it's important uh, to my Luwaldi source. Um, the Eternal Treaty was a treaty between the Egyptians and Hittites, um, and it was signed while the pharaohs were still residing in Memphis. So this was kind of <clears throat> kind of the end, towards the tail end of that, but they were still in Memphis. Um, the time that the Eternal Treaty was signed was a time of growth. 
Um, the Egyptian Empire was really conquering and spreading its borders. And um, this period of time from 1567 to 1085 BC is known as the New Kingdom. Um, you know, it kind of, it had all that disorder. Um, new kings came in. Uh, you know, a lot more powerful kings came in. And, um, uh, yeah, there's, there's just much more powerful um, pharaohs. Uh, came in and they they were able to restore order and there was a little bit of there was about there was a, a, a bit of time between the old kingdom and the new kingdom that were called the uh, second and first <clears throat> intermediate period as well it was the first period and then the middle period and then the second intermediate period and um, between that time it wasn't it wasn't too great uh, it was still a lot of disorder. Uh, it wasn't really a, a, a great kingdom, and that's why it's called the New Kingdom. Uh, Egypt really reestablished itself <coughs> back in to you know the Middle East and started conquering and started um, being relevant again. And um, this kingdom that was you know formed was the first uh, real empire in the Middle East. Um, it was, it was, uh, it stretched all the way up to Syria and then um, all the way down to Sudan and then all the way to Libya or Carthage. So it was quite large. It wasn't as large as others to follow it, but um, it was the first, you know, recognized empire in the Middle East. Um, while the uh, the pharaohs were residing in Memphis, um, they they signed this treaty. But <clears throat> the the reason this happened was they they were um, they were pushing into Syria, and then the Hittites, um, the Hittites, then you know uh, they came. Anyway, anyway, the the Hittites came along and they were kind of causing troubles for them, and um, they were the ones, you know, that kind of made them sign this treaty. They both realized <coughs> they couldn't really beat each other, and you know, it was really the first. The Eternal Treaty is important because it was the first um, diplomatic treaty as well. We have record of, um, you know, it says that if one is attacked, the other will uh, come to its aid and it was you know it's kind of the basis of modern diplomacy and treaties of this day um but yeah and then after that uh you know we get into um after the, after the uh the eternal treaty uh, memphis kind of declines and um you know you have Akhenaten and the kings that follow him <clears throat> choose not to reside there as much. And it's, it's just kind of, it, after the Eternal Treaty, it, it kind of becomes less important. Um, anyway, uh, but this is why it was, it was, uh, it was important. And um, yeah, what else was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, uh, Memphis is um, yeah. Besides the Valley of Kings, which is in Lower Egypt, right around this is kind of the Valley of Kings. Memphis is besides the Valley of Kings. Memphis has the most um, rulers uh, buried there. It was. Um, where most of them, most of the earlier ones, when you started getting into the the uh, the new kingdom, they started kind of getting buried down here, and and they started residing down here more as well. Um, and then, um, you know, after the new kingdom, um, Memphis wasn't used as a capital anymore. Uh, that's when Alexander the Great conquered it. And uh, 
he he formed Alexandria, which is right about there. So, you know, after the Eternal Treaty, um, Memphis kind of went into decline. And uh, it's now recognized as a UNESCO a World Heritage Site, mostly because of, you know, all the ruins. There's still a lot of temples um, and, and other stuff, uh, tombs. Um, but there's just a lot of heritage. And um, there's been a lot of um, uh, reclamation and archaeology done. Um, you know, a lot of... You know, right here, you can kind of see um, the the pyramid is being eroded away, and that as of now they're uh, restoring that, so the pyramid itself doesn't fall. Um, all these kind of you see these arches and doorways right here; those were all buried, and they had to um, dig them up. They restored this, the Temple of uh, Isis. So it's it's really it's it's. Uh, it took a lot of restoration to get it the way it is, but uh, it's a it's a very nice but nice site to <clears throat> visit. A lot of history. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, uh, that's my lecture. I hope I was able to teach you guys something about Memphis, and uh, have a good day.